Welcome back guys, my name is Jesse from JVP Tech. Today we're going to be talking about the Stream Deck Mini versus the Stream Deck app and whether you should save the money and just get the app or spend a little bit more and get the actual device. Alright guys, so today's video is going to be a little bit of a quicker one just because these two are pretty similar. I'm going to get right to the point whether I think you should get the device or save some money and get the app. Um, but the first things first is the price. So this guy, the Stream Deck Mini, which is the six key Stream Deck, this retails for $99. Um, so you're looking at $100 for the six buttons or $3 a month or 25 a year. It's your choice for the app. So the app is a recurring thing. However, it's still way less expensive. You're looking at $75 over three years if you do the 25 a year. And that's still less than this guy. Four years is gonna get you at the $100 mark. But you can usually find this one on sale. So I got it for $60 on sale. Best Buy and other stores do sometimes have it for $50. But if you just find it at the normal retail place, you're looking at $100. So four years of using the app or this device one time and you're at $100. So right there, in my opinion, that puts the, the app a little bit ahead just because that's way less expensive. At first, I wasn't even considering the Stream Deck Mini because of the six buttons, but then I learned that you can make folders. Um, so these right here are just your standard buttons. I have uh, OBS Studio, Epic Games, Photoshop, my volume control on my computer, and then DaVinci Resolve. Um, but if I wanted to, I can make one of these a folder or I can make all six a folder. I could do like a stream folder and then a Photoshop folder. Um, and then when I click that folder, it gives me another five or six buttons. It'll be five because there's always going to be a back button. Um, it'll, but it'll give me another five buttons that I can do whatever I want in that app. So once I learned that, I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. Six buttons it might be okay. Um, and another cool thing I learned once I got it is that you can even set these um, buttons to change depending on what app you open. So it's based on the foreground of your computer. So for example, if I open Photoshop, these can automatically change to things that I use within Photoshop. And then once I close that and open up DaVinci, it's gonna automatically change to what I use in DaVinci. So you can customize that so you can get more out of it than just six buttons and that's it. Um, but still, I find six buttons not really being enough. So I really like the app in that aspect because for one, I have it on my iPad, so it's bigger. And two, it's 15 buttons. So I can customize that way greater the way I have it by default is I have 14 buttons that do different things and then I have one folder that's my stream folder um, and I just click into that when I'm streaming and then I have access to all the stuff I use for my stream. The one downside of the app is that you do need uh, another device to use it. So this one, when you turn your computer on, this is automatically on. It automatically is set up how you have it saved. Um, you do need another device for the app, of course. I prefer, to, like I love this because it's just always there. However, I had an iPad that I just used for to view like security cameras in the house. Um, so instead, I got the security camera app from my computer, set up my third display that I wasn't using before. Now I just use that for the cameras. Um, and I changed my iPad over to just be used for the Stream Deck app. So I'm lucky enough to have this iPad that whenever I turn on my computer, I just turn on the iPad, click on the Stream Deck app, and then all my buttons are laid out right there. So it works out well for me. That might not work for everybody. Um, but if you're not using it all the time, you can also just have it on your phone and pull out your phone whenever you wanna do something with it. But I have like, like I actually removed a bunch of uh, icons from my, my task bar down bottom on the computer and put them over on the Stream Deck. So if I wanna open up Epic Games or if I wanna open up Photoshop, I'm doing that off of the Stream Deck now instead of icons on the bottom of the screen. I personally like that better. Some people just might wanna use it for a couple things here and there. So it depends on what kind of user you are for it. But in my situation, I like to have a dedicated device for it. So that's something to consider. This gives you a dedicated device. The app doesn't necessarily have, unless you have something extra but it's super nice when you have the dedicated device. Now, one thing I was super skeptical about at first is how responsive is it? So I never had one, so I didn't know how responsive this thing was, um, but I figured this would be much more responsive than the app was. However, once I got the app and once I actually tried it out, you click that button and it does it right away on the computer. So even though it's wireless, it's using Wi-Fi to connect uh, the two devices, the computer and the Stream Deck um, app on the iPad, it's super quick. So if I click to change the volume, it's up and down as soon as I click it. If I click to open an app, that app is, it's quick, it's snappy, it's opening up right away. They both seem to be the same responsiveness between the Stream Deck Mini and the actual app. Um, so I mean, 
to be completely honest with you, I don't think you can go wrong with the app. Personally, I say save the money. Instead of spending $100 or $150 for one of the bigger stream decks, I say spend the $3 a month or the $25 a year, get the app. Then for one, you can see if you like it. If you don't like it, cool, cancel your subscription or don't pay the next month and then you're done. Um, personally, I'm on the $2.99 a month uh, app plan right now just because I want to try it out. But once this month is over, I am going to renew the $25 a year um, just because I like it. I know I'm going to keep using it. So it's a good investment for me. But yeah, my personal opinion, go with the app. Save yourself some money. You don't necessarily need the physical device as long as you have an iOS or Android device that you can get the Stream Deck app on. Um, that's the way to go. You save yourself a lot of money. It's just as responsive. You get more buttons. I don't think you can go wrong. That's my opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. This one was a quicker one today, but usually I'm doing pretty in-depth reviews or comparisons, so stick around. Uh, I'm gonna be putting out more stuff very soon. I'm shooting for one video a week. If not, it'll be as often as uh, I have content that I'm uh, able to create for you guys. But please hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Peace.